it's now time to do a bit of attack animation for our NPC and our player character. There will be three videos concerned with this subject and this one will deal with retargeting an imported animation to the Unreal Mannequin. Episode 2 will deal with attacking animation and number 3 with attacking behaviour. In the Lely series used an asset from Paragon but I didn't want to use that, I wanted to start from scratch and I couldn't find the particular asset he used so I went to Mixamo to get what I needed. I downloaded the uh, Ybot Mesh uh, character and also the right hook animation from that site. I've included a link in the description below to a GitHub repository which has that um, FBX in it and some other files which we need. First thing I'm going to do is to create a new folder to put all this stuff in. In Unreal, I'm going to call it uh, Melee Attack. Go into that folder and do an import. Now, I've, this is the one, the wide bot right hook FBX. I want to make sure we've got the skeletal mesh selected and import mesh and import animations. I don't think you need to affect anything else. However, I have noticed that um, for some reason, when you apply the animation to um, the Unreal Engine um, skeleton, it's up in the air slightly. So if you were going to use all of this animation, you would probably have to adjust this Z uh, direction in the import translation. Um, now, we don't have to do that because we're only going to use the upper part of the animation. It doesn't seem to affect the rest of it. So I'm going to do an import all on that. You get a complaint about smoothing groups. Don't have to worry about that. I'll save everything off. Now, one of the first things we've got to do is to sort out the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton. Because... It's not in a T-pose. This um, Y-Bot skeleton is in a T-pose. So we need to make the Unreal Engine 4 one the same. So if we go to uh, in content, it's mannequin character, whoops, mesh. And there's this UE4 mannequin skeleton. Open that up. You can see it's not in a T-pose. So if I look at the skeleton tree, uh, we need to adjust some of the arm bones, so if I select the upper right arm I give it, I think, uh, let's give it 50 there we are, same with the left one give that one 50 and then the top, from the top um, the forearms are bent forwards a bit, so uh, we'll fix that, we'll give that I think it's 20 I gave it and the hand I'll give that 10 same on the left 20 and 10 right um, oh we need to go to the retarget manager um, because we need to change the pose, it will forget all this or something. So um, we go down the so in the retarget manager, you go down the bottom to modify pose and use current pose. And now I can save it. Now for the Y bot, the Mixamo character which has this animation on it, we need to fix the bone mappings for that now. If you look at the uh, Unreal Engine 4, these are going to be different from these. I hope you can see that. I mean, the first one's called hips, whereas in the Unreal Engine 4, it's called root. And this all needs fixing. So if we go to the setup, the first thing we've got to do is to change this from none, because in the Unreal Engine 4, skeleton's already been done for, so we've chosen humanoid. So if I go humanoid here um, there's all these bones here which are the ones in the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton and then what you would have to do is to choose the equivalent um, Mixamo one but these are just the, 
the main limbs, you'd have to do all the fingers as well, and there's loads of those. So, to avoid that, I did I did all that and saved it, because you can save the, the mapping. So, um, that's the thing, I need to copy it, because I haven't got it in here at the moment. So, um, yeah, you can't import it either, you have to do a manual copy. So, um, I've now got to find it on my computer, which, if I remember right, is in here. Put it under Assets Deny and blah, so Mix and Mow Attack, and here it is. So I'm going to drag and copy that in, and it won't work, actually, yet. Yeah doesn't work you've got to do it in Explorer it's a real pain this so um, I don't know why it won't I mean it's a your asset so it looks like you can't drag your assets in unless you do it outside of the editor so um, I need to find uh, let's have a look yes so here we are it's CPP AI I'll just drag it in there copy it with the control now ah oh, it has appeared sometimes it doesn't appear and you have to exit and come back in um, save everything so I'll go back to the skeleton load there it is and it's set it all up um, Sometimes you have to, ah yes, if you look at the preview scene tab, you're going to have to click this apply to asset button, I don't know why you need to do that, but you do, uh, otherwise sometimes it doesn't appear when you do the remapping, because now we're going to do the remapping. The actual animation is this one, uh, wide bot, right hook, and in mixmo com. And if we right click on this, uh, retarget anim assets, duplicate anim assets and retarget, oh, it's going to make a copy so there it is uh, we select so you've got a source and you've got a target so we need to select the target here there's our Unreal Engine 4 mannequin um, you can change the name and everything but change the location because you can stick it in the group where we don't want so we want it in melee attack um, and you just click retarget so let's um, rename this as um, I'm going to call it uh, just call it I know UE4 let's call it punch attack because that's basically what it is Save that off. If I open that, you should see now it's targeted to the being retargeted to the Unreal Engine 4 uh, mesh. Uh, you will notice, as I said before, it's up in the air. See that? It's not quite touching the ground, but we don't need to worry about it because we're only going to, in the next video, going to make a montage, an anime montage, which only uses the top half and doesn't play around with the legs. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.